Naomi, I can never forget you, as you're always on my mind. And let's face it, if anyone's going to forget anything in this marriage, it's going to be you. <laughs> I know I wasn't the best at organising today, but despite your bride's tendencies, you made this flawless. Today marks exactly four and a half years since you first met outside the train station and I took you to dinner at a fancy Italian restaurant. <laughs> we sat down for about five minutes before we both agreed to skip dinner and find a random karaoke bar to get drunk and try and convince each other we could sing. It was from this moment I knew you were special, which I remember telling the uninterested taxi driver on the way home. But I had no idea my life was about to be turned around and filled with such purpose. There are so many things that made me fall for you. You are beautiful, kind, selfless, hardworking, and have a captivating personality that everyone you meet warms to instantly. Love is a marvellous thing. Like a tree in spring with its bright green leaves and blossom, the beginnings of love are exciting and colourful. Our thoughts are taken up with our loved one and any moment spent apart from them is a wasted moment, except that it's a moment closer to seeing them again. This is a love that has settled down and got on with the business of regular life. In autumn, the fruits on the tree ripen and the leaves turn a rainbow of colours. The fruit feeds us and other creatures beside. Leaves are a pleasure worth travelling long distances to see. This is a love which has matured and become a source of nourishment and wonder for other relationships. And then the leaves fall and you realise that all along the most important thing wasn't the leaves or the blossom or the fruit, but the trunk and the branches and the roots sunk deep into the ground, ready to withstand the winter storms. This is a love which has grown strong and deep, not showy, but magnificent. A very warm welcome to all of you to the happiest celebration of my life. Thank you for sharing this day with us, and a special thank you to those who have travelled many miles to be here today. We'd also like to take a moment to remember Naomi's dad, he passed away late last year. He's very much in our thoughts today. He would have loved today's celebration and is greatly missed. I feel lucky to have known him for his last years and to have had a chance to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage. I have no doubt he's very proud of Naomi today. I, Aaron, take you, Naomi, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, better for worse, for richer, for poorer, <coughs> in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. You look incredible and it just took my breath away as you walked down the aisle. I felt like the luckiest man alive that I've married not, not only the love of my life, but my best friend and soulmate. I, Naomi, take you, Aaron, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Naomi, you are the best thing that's ever happened to Aaron. He's a very fussy man that will only ever settle for the best. And I know that he uh, searched for a long time to find you. 
Uh, when I first met you, I warmed to you straight away and I knew that he had deservedly found the one. You are like two giant peas <laughs> in a giant pod. <laughs> and uh, although my sleepover days where I could fart on Aaron during the middle of the night are now over, I think I speak on behalf of everybody here in saying how grateful we are that you have found one another and uh, that we now have you in our lives. <laughs> so all we have to do now is celebrate properly and to properly welcome Aaron to my family. Um, we want to celebrate naming Aaron's happiness. We want to celebrate those who can't be with us and we want to celebrate all of our future happiness. The bride and groom. <laughs> Naomi, you are my greatest achievement, and I couldn't live without you. You illuminate my life, and I promise to cherish it. I could go on forever about how much I love, respect and adore you, but for now let me just say thank you for marrying me and I can't wait for our married life to now begin. <laughs> <laughs>